Hey guys, I'm here today with a super special guest. This is my dad. That be me, hello. We're taping a video for you in honor of Father's Day. Have you ever been to the grocery store? You're walking up and down the aisles. You're trying to find some new healthy foods and foods that you can grab and go fast. Because let's face it, no one has a lot of time these days. Sounds like one of my Saturday afternoons. Exactly. We love the grocery store. I went to four stores for this video today. But most people don't have time for that. We get it. You might find stuff that you think looks good, but you don't want to waste the money on it. Because what if it's bad, right? So we're going to be your guinea pigs today. We're going to test a whole bunch of foods, healthy foods, kind of healthy foods, um, healthier versions of some things, and let you know what we think of them. Instead of on a five star rating scale, I was thinking we use a fork, like my logo. What do you think? Fork star. Fork star. Fork star ratings. <laughs> so we'll rate them for you, and then you'll know some new delicious foods to incorporate into your life. Ready? Right. When we say put a fork in it, no good. <laughs> Let's go. So now we're gonna try these coconut snacks, organic coconut snacks. And I got two different flavors for us to try. Coconut snacks with chia seeds, sunflower seeds, and pumpkin seeds. The other one is coconut snacks with cranberries, cashews, and almonds, and chia seeds. Everything that we're trying today is gluten-free and dairy-free, because we both have some dietary restrictions. So, I have this one and this one. So why don't you try it? Try that one and see what you think. I want to get cranberry in the bite. They look pretty good. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. What do you think? Terrific. These are awesome. Crunchy. Mm-hmm. Good flavor. They're a little dry, but I kind of like dry. Yeah. Like, I feel like I need a little water right away. No, I don't get that feeling. Um, the cranberry helps in this one. If you ever had toasted coconut before... I'll try the cranberry. Yeah, try the cranberry one. Make sure you get a little cranberry in it. Yeah, if you've ever tried toasted coconut before, it's pretty much toasted coconut and then there's some other goodies mixed in there. It's sweet. I mean, it's definitely a sweet snack. I think it's really tasty. I want to try this one. That Cran one's good. Cranberry is naked, stickier, which is, which is good. I think these are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're dry. <laughs> I like this one a little more than this one. So, we're both in agreement. We like these better than those. What would you give it for forks? I'll let you chew. For me personally, I would give this one um, probably four forks. It was really good. I would definitely buy it again. Not super filling, but it is very tasty. I'm with you. Four, four forks? Yeah. Four forks it is. Next up, we're gonna try seaweed snacks. Have you ever tried seaweed snacks before? No, it isn't there. A pro television program, seaweed. Oh, weed. Never mind. What? Weeds? <laughs> Weeds is very different. This is made of seaweed. Seaweed is super beneficial for the body. All kinds of great health benefits to it. They have these in a bunch of flavors, but I noticed in the ingredients, some of the other ones had like MSG in them, so I stayed away. These are just the sea salt ones. So you ready to try seaweed? Yeah. All right, he's not even a sushi. One person. thing I noticed sushi. is they're a little stinky. They're a little stinky. That's a good idea. We should smell the food that we're going to eat. You ready? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. Cheers. That's <laughs> a little stinky. Mm. What do you think? I think it gets zero forks. <laughs> zero forks. It's nasty. It's kind of like eating a piece of paper, and then it tastes kind of like the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, the only problem, the only thing is the paper would taste better than this. <laughs> Potentially. Um, I'll pass. I could feel it growing on me, maybe. Me too. Because I know about ah. the... <laughs> <laughs> For me, knowing about the health benefits of something makes me want to eat it more, so I could see being able to kind of eat it, because I know it's healthy. I'd probably give it a two. It definitely would not fill you up. You could eat this whole thing easy and still be starving. But no, no forks for you. No forks for dad, two forks for me. Next. Next. <laughs> From Trader Joe's, they have these Thai lime and chili cashews. And these stuck out at me because the ingredients on the back are actual real spices. There weren't any MSG products or any other things that I didn't recognize in there. So these might be a fun way to spice up just eating nuts for a healthy snack. Raw nuts. Yeah, raw nuts, exactly. Do you like they, Thai they, chili stuff flavors? Yeah, they, they look like pistachios from here. See the color? Because they're greenish? Yeah. Let's see. 
Alright, ready? We're ready? Let's try them out. They start off a little on the mild side yeah. and now they get spicy as you as you chew them. Spicy aftertaste. They do nice kick. They start off very bland. But it, it does get a little more spicy. I think it kind of tastes like soap. Do you taste like soap? No. I just I'm not a big fan. What do you think? I think they're pretty good there. You gotta remember they're a different type of spice than we're used to, you know. How many they get, forks? They get real hard. <laughs> they get real hot. Ooh. Uh, I, I give them a two and a half. Two and a half? Two and a half. Sport. I thought you'd go higher. You seem to like them. I'm giving them a one. Because they're cashews. I like the taste of that. Yeah. But the seasoning on it, I'm not really a big fan of. Well, if those coconut sacks were four, these are two and a half. Okay. <laughs> now we're going to try some yogurt. So since I mentioned before, we're both dairy free. And this yogurt is made from cashews. And what stood out to me when I was looking at a bunch of them was the ingredients on this. There are some other yogurts that are non-dairy based, but they contain a lot of stuff that I can't pronounce. And I didn't want to put that in my body. So I found this and the ingredients look good. So I'm very optimistic okay. about how it's going to go. This one's blueberry and this one's strawberry. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. Do you have one again? I haven't had yogurt in Oh my gosh, that is so good. That is so good. It's super creamy. Cashews are amazing for making things creamy in general. It super is creamy, good. not super sweet, nice blueberry flavor to it. Really good. Doesn't taste artificial blueberry, it tastes like an actual blueberry, which is important. I want to try this one. I want to wait for the, see if there's an after taste. It's drippy. Yeah. I that one's really good too. I don't know which one I like more. They're both amazing. I'm so excited I found this. I found this at Whole Foods. I'm giving it five forks. Easy five forks. What do you think? I'd give five to the strawberry, four and a half to the blueberry. I give them both fives. <laughs> They're so good. I love blueberry in general. She's easy. Yeah. Definitely go and get this stuff. It's delicious. Highly recommend it. All right, you ready for the next one? Yeah, I'm ready for the next He's bite. Still we're gonna try some Mary's Gone Crackers crackers. I used to eat these and then I saw that they have soy in them and in general I try to avoid soy because you know it messes with hormones and stuff. But these two have no soy in them. One is everything. Ooh, that was up. One is everything and one is seaweed. Oh seaweed again. Seaweed and black sesame. <laughs> so we'll see what we think. This we're one's about to seaweed. go crackers. No, we're about to go crackers with Mary. You ready okay. to try them? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Crunchy. Yeah, super crunchy. Good for dip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll have to try them in a dip. They're definitely dry, so I think a dip would help with the moisture level. They taste kind of like an everything bagel. A little less oniony, but they're good. You can't really taste the seaweed I'm gonna try these. in this one. It tastes like a normal cracker. I don't like those cracker. as much. Well, They're very try. bland. They don't really have any flavor to them. Aren't those better? They're both good though, I think. These are blah. These are good. I like the crunch. I would give these a two. I'd eat them if they were there, but I wouldn't necessarily buy them. And these I'd give like a four or a four and a half. They're good. But make sure you have them in dip, because on their own they're a little dry. What do you think? I'd give them both a three, three and a half. Three and a half forks. 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 Alright. You want to dip them? Yes. Okay, Next up, we're going to try something to dip these slightly dry crackers in. So I found this um, slightly different take on hummus if you're sick of eating hummus all the time. It's a kale and pesto, kale pesto flavor hummus. What do you think? Not bad. We'll dry try crackers it. part two. Let's see how it goes. I love pesto so much, so I have very high hopes for this. So I figured we'd taste it first and okay. then dip crackers. Yeah. Mind if I dip? It kind of just tastes like you're eating pesto. Yeah, it's got some lemon in it. I can taste the lemon. Yeah, it's a pretty good part. Sophisticated palate. 
No, a little strong aftertaste. Mm. I'm curious how it'll match up with a cracker that has flavor to it also, because that's very strong flavored. So if you love pesto, you'll probably love that too. Should we rate it before? Oh, we should probably rate it before. Rate it both. It. Okay, yeah, good idea. So yeah. pre-cracker, how many forks? Uh, three and a half. Three and a half forks. I would give it probably three and a half forks as well. I think that that on a sandwich would taste really good, or that mixed into yeah. a salad would taste really good too. Yeah, straight up. So I can up. see other uses for that. Wouldn't necessarily eat that straight up. No, I wouldn't eat that straight up. What cracker do you want to use? I want to go sour seaweed. That's better. But I still think it would be better in like a salad or something else. I think I would give it a four forks total for a combined yeah. score. I would give this kale pesto a four fork. Yeah. Okay. Four forks all around. Four forks all around. All right, if you're a pesto lover, check this out. All right, next up we have a fun one. I know, Dad, you're a huge fan of fries, right? Yeah, you could say that. You like your fries? So these are a slightly different twist on traditional fries. Broccoli and potato fries. So there's actually broccoli in here. They're gluten-free. There's not a whole lot of other crazy ingredients. If you look on the bag of regular french fries, you're gonna see a bunch of ingredients there anyway. So it might be worth getting ones that can at least sneak some broccoli and greens into your life. So. Good way to do it. You wanna try them out? Absolutely. Let's see. They crisp up nicely. We did have to flip them and cook them longer than how they recommended on there. Just heads up. Definitely need some sea salt. Need cat salt. You want to have cat. No, ketchup. You mm -hmm. put ketchup on. Tell them what you put ketchup on. Eggs. Everything. Browns. It'll be it'll be faster if you say Everything don't except put them pizza. On. You have a line somewhere. Do you want me to get you ketchup? Sure. Okay. It's father's. If you insist. Before the ketchup, how many forks would you give these? Oh, I'd give them a three. You give them a three? Yeah. You know five's the best. Did you say four's the best? I you said four's the best, no? Oh, five. Oh. Have you been be basing all this off of four? Yeah. <laughs> three and a half. Three and a half. Out of five or four? Out of five. Or out of five. Three and a half out of five. I would give them probably three out of five. With salt, it might bring them up a little bit. Are they better with ketchup? Oh, yeah. Better with ketchup, better with some sea salt. But no, could be a good way to sneak some veggies in your life. Now we are back with something sweet. These are quinoa cookies. So they're gluten-free, dairy-free, all those things. I do want to note in here, the way that they're wrapped is individually. It slows down your consumption a little bit. I guess it does. It focuses more on the mindful eating because you have to, it takes a lot longer to open it up. You want to try it? With that in mind, we pre-opened a couple of these. Yes. They look a little dry right off the bat. Yeah, they do. Yeah. But we'll see what flavor are they. Coconut flavor. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't like them. Mm -hmm. They're very dry, very yeah, crumbly. Kind of dry, yeah. Like no flavor at all, really. Teeny, teeny bit of coconut. But it tastes really artificial. It tastes like artificial coconut flavor. It doesn't taste good. I'd give it a one fork. I feel weird about giving zero forks, so I'll give it one fork. What do you think? Maybe one and a half. One and a half? <laughs> Edged it out a little bit? Because he likes them a little more than I do. Well, they, they taste healthy. I don't like that though, because that means that healthy has to taste bad, and it does not have to taste bad. We just tried a bunch of good stuff that's. Healthy yeah. and tasty. Okay, one it is. Okay, one it is. So we're back trying a beverage with you guys. We have this organic jalapeno limeade from Trader Joe's. I thought this might be a great option for a refreshing, fun summer drink. And you might even be able to put some alcohol in it. Yeah, get an little, adult beverage. Yeah, margarita action. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, you want to try it? Yeah, sure. Cheers. 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 That's good. What do you think? Yeah, I'm waiting for the... <laughs> Still processing. I'm waiting for the kick. It's sweet, but there's a kick yeah. at the same time. <clears throat> it's the perfect combination. If you like spicy stuff, <laughs> definitely try this out. This is really it good. It doesn't taste that sweet, considering how much sugar is in it. Yeah, there's a pretty good amount of sugar in it still. 
I mean, if you're gonna be having a lemonade anyway or some type of mixer, you may as well go with this stuff. It's at least organic, made with real whole stuff. Um, it tastes really good. I love it. I yeah. give it a five. I would definitely get it again. I give it a four. Yeah. I give it a four. The only drawback is I don't necessarily like the burning in my throat after you drink it. <laughs> Dad's not a spicy guy. I love spicy. Well, I like stuff, spicy, you know? but you're like a little more mild spicy. Yeah, maybe. A little more mild spicy. Meanwhile, yeah. let's finish it. I know, right? Good. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna try veggie burger. For those vegetarians out there, or if you're just looking to cut down on your meat intake, um, having a veggie burger or something in the freezer is one of my favorite tips for eating healthy, even though you have a really busy lifestyle. Say you forget to thaw out meat the night before, or you're running around crazy and don't have time to cook up something that takes a while. These are a really quick or option. Or if you need a hockey puck. Or if you need a hockey puck. We'll see, we'll see how they go. Don't judge them by their by their look. Exactly. <laughs> I love the millet. It's one of my favorite greens. So let's see how it is. Cuts pretty evenly. It's crunchy too. Mmm. I love it. Not bad. It's really good. I mean, obviously, when you're eating it, you probably won't eat it by itself on a plate. I know. What are you looking for? Ketchup. This is the original flavor. They come in more flavors. Um, so this is kind of a neutral base that you can add anything you want on. Avocado would be awesome on this. Yeah. I love this. I would give this a five. Five forks. I'd give it a four. Four forks. Four forks. For a guy who doesn't really eat veggie burgers, yeah. four forks. Yeah. Awesome. Well, so yeah. There you go. Definitely check this out. Next up, we're going to try a vegetable snack. This is crispy, crunchy okra. I gotta say, I've tried okra before, like frozen okra in a stir fry, and I did not like it. Okra or okra? Okra. Okra, okay. You look a little funky. Uh, so you don't have to bake these, it's just snack, regular snacks. Yeah, smell it. Excuse me. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Well, there goes nothing. Oh my god. I don't want to swallow it. <sighs> Minus four. Ah! Minus four forks. Minus forks. Oh, that was so bad. So I guess if you love okra, maybe try these out. They are just terrible. These are the weakest link. They are disgusting. They're very crispy and crunchy. We'll try to find a bright side here. Very crispy, crunchy, right? Very light. Nasty but they flavor taste profile. Disgusting. <laughs> Nasty flavor profile from the expert. Yeah. Off we go. <laughs> Now we're gonna try something for those people who aren't vegetarians, some sausage. So this is made from 100% grass-fed beef. It's andouille sausage, which is my favorite flavor. Pre-cooked. Pre-cooked, so if you're in a pinch, run to the grocery store, these are already cooked. You can microwave them, you can you know, heat them up in your oven, you can put them in your toaster oven. Um, very quick and easy for in a pinch stuff. Andouille I'm, I'm is your favorite. Ready to try it? Yes, I'm ready. Pardon my fingers. Wow. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Those are so good. That's awesome. Yep. Big fan of these. I like chicken sausage a lot too, because you can get organic chicken sausage, that Blinsky's brand or whatever, pretty easily at any grocery store. But if you get sick of eating chicken sausages all the time, like I get sick of, these are an awesome way to mix it up. It's grass fed cows. Awesome flavor. A little mustard would be perfect. King of condiments right here. Great in sandwiches, stir fries, on salads, anything really. No, well, I'm between your two fingers. I give it a five. I give it a five too. Five right. forks. There it is, five forks. Go get these, they are super good. All right, next up we have these little rice treats, I guess. I don't know how to pronounce that. All the way from Japan. Mochi. I guess it's a sweet Japanese favorite. So we don't really know what to expect. Ready? Okay, here we go, flip a coin. I know. They don't smell sweet. Kind of bland. Mm -hmm. Not much happening. Best way to describe that. It's like, if you've, had, but bland. if you've had a rice cake or a rice cracker and you like smash it together and form this, that's exactly what it would taste like. It's not gonna fill you up like popcorn. It yeah. Taste. 
It's good as popcorn. <laughs> I give it a two. Two forks? I'd give it two forks. It's not bad, but I wouldn't see myself wanting to buy and eat it. I'd rather eat something with more substance to it. Stick a fork in it. Stick a fork in it. These are some chips. These chips are promoted as being grain free. So for all you paleo people out there, they're made of cassava flour. I don't know if I pronounced that right. They're made in avocado oil um, and they're cheesy flavored, but they're still dairy free and gluten free. What makes them cheesy is nutritional yeast, which is a superfood all on its own because it's loaded with B vitamins, protein, all kinds of amino acids. So these have potential, okay. if we like them, to be a good staple. Nice looking packaging. Yes, very pretty. I'm very disappointed. Maybe it was just that bite? No. It's every bite. I don't like them. They're very, very thin, which is fine. I don't mind a thin chip. All I taste is like tomato. Do you taste tomato? Is there any tomato? Yeah, I get in the flavor There's tomato powder. Flavor profile is very odd. I can't Very remember. bland, not nearly enough like salty flavor for like a chip. Just the flavor itself is uh, not there. It's just it's not a good not a good taste. Definitely not nacho by any means. If anything, it should be tomato flavored. I'll give it a one because I think that. Yeah. One fork. fork on crispiness. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Next. Next. <laughs> now we have something chocolatey. We had to have something chocolate in this video. So this stuff is almond spread with cocoa in it. So I was thinking it might be kind of like a Nutella, but a better for you version of Nutella. Also, 10% of their net profits are donated to help protect and preserve wildlife. There's a cute little line on the front. So that's always a good thing, right? It's a cute big line. Cute big line on the front. Good. Awesome. Awesome. Five, five forks. Definitely five forks. The consistency is amazing. It's super smooth. Came right out of there. I mean, you can see, maybe, I don't know. It is healthier for you than Nutella. We'll try it on this bland, yeah, bland, we'll bland cookie. Yeah, bland cookie. It helps a lot. Yeah, I'm sure. How many forks? Did you rate it yet? I'll give it five. Two five forks from us. Are you gonna finish it? That makes ten forks. Ten forks. Now we are gonna try Trader Joe's new cauliflower pizza crust. We saved the best for last. Best for last. This guy loves pizza. Yeah. Favorite food? Pizza. pizza. This crust, gluten-free, dairy-free. A lot of the recipes out there for cauliflower pizza crusts call for cheese in them. I personally avoid cheese like most of the time. I'll maybe have cheese like once every month, two months, something like that. Not very often. It doesn't sit well with my stomach. So this is what the pizza looked like. I figured I'd make half actual pizza and half crust so we could truly get a feel for the crust itself. Try the crust. You have that one? It holds up pretty well. I mean, it's not... You have to bake it for 10 minutes on one side, flip it. It was a little hard to flip. 10 minutes on the other side and then top it. The top is crispy and the bottom is a little soft. It doesn't break the batter. Right. You can kind of tell that it's cauliflower a little bit, especially on the aftertaste. It'll be better with top. Tastes a little cauliflower. <laughs> but it's not bad. I mean, it's not bad at all. It has a good consistency to it. Very thin crust. I'll have dairy for you guys. Let's see. I just put some sauce, some organic cheese, a couple slices of tomato and some fresh basil from the garden. There we go. Here we go. Mm. Can you tell that it's cauliflower? Yeah. I feel like it tastes just like pizza. Yeah. It definitely got soggy, the one with the toppings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it tastes good. There's definitely, I can't taste cauliflower. Oh, the cauliflower tastes of the crust doesn't overwhelm the rest of it, which is mm -mm. the way you, you want it to be. I would definitely get and eat this again. Mm. Would you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's going crazy on the pizza. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients in this. All stuff you can pronounce. There's nothing weird or funky. No preservatives in there. It's very, I would definitely give it. For non-gluten, 
non gluten, um, non gluten, non dairy crust. Non dairy crust. I give it a four and a half. Four and a half from the Pizza King. I would probably give it the same. If it got, if it stayed crispier, then maybe a little bit more. So definitely Trader Joe's. Go grab this today. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. We definitely enjoyed tasting all these delicious foods for you, and we hope that you'll uh, take our fork, I guess, ratings, and maybe try some new stuff to find some new healthy foods to incorporate into your lifestyle to keep things fresh, interesting, and exciting, so it'll be easier to stay on track. Talk to you soon. And bring some napkins. Yes, bring some napkins. <laughs>